Hello, this is Jeff from the future. This episode was recorded in 2020 as part of an original attempt at a music review podcast. The original idea was to discuss new music as it was being released, but 2020 being what it was, brought quite a few album postponements and other complications. So this series continued through 2020 and into 2021. We are now here in 2022 at the time I am recording this. So what you are about to listen to is not the Sound Judgment podcast, but an early iteration. Also, being that it was recorded more than two years ago now, some of our thoughts and opinions may have changed, considering that we are, in fact, people who are continuously trying to learn and better ourselves. Enjoy the show. Um, Did your brother get Final Fantasy VII Remake? Uh, that's a good question. I know he's been playing the remaster of 8. Okay. I don't remember if he bought 7 or not. I was, I just, um, before he went on his little break, he was talking about potentially doing that, and I was curious about if they're still gonna, like, release that game in two parts, or whatever. So, I actually didn't even know that was a thing until I saw you mention it in a group chat the other day. I was unaware it was coming out in parts. So, from what I remember, there was, like, an article about how, like, they're going to release it as part one and part two, and they weren't very clear if, like, part two was going to be, like, an update to the game or something that you have to buy separate. Oh, oh, wouldn't that be awful? Yeah, I don't want to buy disc two of Final Fantasy VII separate from disc one, essentially. Yeah, that sounds really stupid, not gonna lie. Jeff... Which one is Waifu now that they're in HD? From 7? Yeah. Uh, I mean... I, I mean, like... No one from 7 is particularly my favorite. Let's just say that. I thought Aerith was your Waifu at first. I, no, I really liked her, but like I, an my, the thing with her... The thing with her... Yeah. Is... Uh, She's the reason that I literally have never finished that game. Oh, that's so right. So back when, back when I was first playing those games in like 2000, 2001, um, I was already in love with Final Fantasy VIII. Like yeah. that was my real introduction to the Final Fantasy games, other than I had one of the Game Boy, like the Final Fantasy Legends games that's like hardly a Final Fantasy game. Yeah. So I loved eight, And I'm just like, oh, well, you know, my brother has seven. Like I'm going to play this. And you know, 12-year-old me or 11-year-old me or whatever uh, got to the part where, you know, she gets murdered. I cried and I literally didn't touch the game for maybe 10 years. <laughs> and then every time I go back to play it, I just get bored. Oh, yeah? I guess that's like, it's just not. It's just not... It, it doesn't... Because I don't have the nostalgia factor for that game... And let's face it, that's you don't have you don't have the nostalgic uh, factor for like the time that you cried over a video game. <laughs> the time that I cried over a video game and didn't play it for a decade. No, I have no nostalgia for this. I literally did not play the game again until I mean at least college. Quite frankly, if not after college, and then I've restarted it. Oh my gosh, probably six times now, and I just I can never even I can't even get to that point anymore before I start getting bored. Honestly. Before, the, sti- before thinking... the tears start welling. Yeah, exactly. And I'm thinking I'm going to play the remake because, again, like that's an era of video games I'm not into at all. Like, I'm sorry. I hate the way that game looks. I cannot see you don't. You don't like their the giant Popeye look. forearms? No, it looks awful and the backgrounds Wait, Jeff, like i Jeff. love the con- hold on i love the concept of the backgrounds being like those pre-rendered like paintings essentially that action happens on top of but the contrast between some of the backgrounds and your characters is so infuriating if the game were like pure pixelated i would like it more than i like that monstrosity that it is <laughs> I was I was hoping I could get get you to do the uh, it was awful. The what? It was awful. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. I, I should have let you interrupt me, but I was just talking. <laughs> it's okay. Um, my hot take: um, Waifu is is Yuffie because she steals your shit and leaves while you're sleeping, and I like familiarity. 
Hold on. Okay, I know what you mean, but actually, I can't picture what she looks like. Give me a second. I need to Google her, actually. She's the one that's, like, optional. Like, you don't know. Uh, you can, you okay. Can, you she's, could theoretically go through the game without getting her. She's the kind of tomboyish-looking one who doesn't zip up her pants the whole way. Yeah. I actually, like, I know that she's a character. I kind of always forget that she exists because she's obviously so overshadowed by uh, Tifa and Aerith. By, like, everyone else, honestly. Considering you don't necessarily well, even have to get her. I Okay, well, I was kind of I was and, referring to the, and the if potential you, waifu. And if you do, she steals your shit. Yeah. I was just referring to the potential waifu here. Like, obviously, I mean, Red 13 is a super cool character, and so is Barrett, but, like, they don't really qualify. But don't, but don't, don't fuck animals. Many, I don't think many people want, um like, body pillows of them. <laughs> Like, if someone wants a body pillow of Barrett, like, that's totally fine. And I could definitely imagine... He's one of those characters that I feel like if they made a movie of this, he would be played by... Oh, I'm drawing a blank on his name. He was the bad guy in Black Panther that everyone was in love with. Okay. Okay. I feel like, you know what I mean? Like, Uh they could make... Because, like, Barrett comes off as, like, stocky. Yeah. Like, not, like fat but like stocky and like kind of like you know total like big lumberjack kind of guy right i feel like you could absolutely slightly redesign his character and make him just like flat out ripped see i was i was thinking like, maybe him, like sleek and and you know i was gonna cast idris elba i you know what i almost said that too actually but then i had my i i got the other guy stuck in my head and i can't think of his name that's fair too um <clears throat> I keep wanting to say his name is like Michael Jordan. Like I know that that's not it, but it's. I th- he has one of those names that always reminded me of something. Jordan Michaelson. I don't think that was it either. <laughs> I don't. Michael B. Jordan. I was. I was Holy right. shit! His name is literally Michael Jordan. <laughs> Excellent. Um. Although I mean, obviously, uh, what's this guy's name? Chadwick Boseman, who was the Black Panther. Like I, I could totally see that working. Too. I'm glad his name is Chad. I'll start. I'll start aiming this towards music. Um, you know what game oh, I've been playing? Thing. You know what game I've been playing, Jeff? <laughs> so, no, I. Um, do you mean other than Animal Crossing? No, it's Animal Crossing. You know what's? <laughs> you know what's interesting about Animal Crossing, Jeff? And what's that, Chris? Every hour, it has a different song that plays for that hour. Um. Like real life hours or yeah. like in game? Well, no, the real life hours are in game yeah, hours. Yeah, aren't yeah, they? yeah, like, yeah. That... So oh, like, oh, that sounds off. So like from from noon to one, it it like plays a certain song, and then there's like a little chime, and then it goes to the one o'clock music. So I was playing late the other night, and there have been like like people joking about the three a.m. music online, and I was up at like two thirty. I was like, fuck it. I want to hear the 3 a.m. music. Because every... Uh, first, it was on Facebook. I saw somebody post that, like, the 2 o'clock music makes me feel like, like, you know, Animal Crossing is putting me to sleep. And then the 3 a.m. music starts, and it sounds like it's making fun of me for being up this late. Um, and oh, okay. Th- and then, like, on, on, on Twitter, there were some memes of, like, uh, the 2 o'clock music versus the 3 o'clock music, and it would be, like, the 2 o'clock music is, like you know, the stock pictures of, like, a peaceful night or, like, Aurora Borealis, and then 3 o'clock is consistently clowns. Okay. So, I feel like I'm gonna have to look up this music. No, I'm, really I'm, gonna, sure. I'm gonna send you the playlist of all of the hours, and I just want oh, you to, like, God. I just want to give, like, give yourself, like, 30 seconds of, like, the 1 o'clock and then 30 seconds of the 2 o'clock, and then just, like, sit and listen to the 3 o'clock music for a minute. So these are all like four and a half minutes long. I'm assuming it just loops. Yeah, it them, just loops. Right? Yeah. Okay. Can I just say that 1 a.m. sounds like a jazz band that's actually just falling asleep while playing? Yeah. You let me know if these make you feel of that like it's that hour of night, Jeff. Oh, I, I I was digging 1 a.m. I just put 2 a.m. now. Okay. And this is, like, super new agey. Yeah. Like, I want to fall asleep listening to this. Right. All 
All right, and let's go to 3 a.m. This is incredible. <laughs> the band not only is like, this is way too late, we should be asleep, they are now doing cocaine to try and stay awake. <laughs> like, this is really goofy. It's so fucking stupid. I'm loving some of these comments on this video, too, though. Like, it has Charlie Brown talking sounds, go to sleep, <laughs> been playing for eight hours. It really does have that, like, that muted trumpet wah-wah. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> Are any of the other, like, hours particularly interesting? Not really. Like, the rest of the soundtrack is, like, pretty much just, like, decent background gaming music. It's and background stuff. music, yeah. yeah. I... Like, like... The 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. are far more indicative of... But, like, I mean, as you go through the day, it's, like, more peppy and stuff. But, like, it... There's, there's none that, like, catch your attention like the 3 a.m. one that I've heard yet. I gotcha. Uh, oh, that's really funny, though. I I appreciate it. Good. I thought that would be a, a fun pre-conversation to get you in the mood. To get me in the mood to talk about music. Got yeah, it. that was some foreplay. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. I mean, technically, we did just talk about new music. I, I mean, you're not wrong. And I'm not going to lie. I feel like at some point this year, we're probably going to end up listening to a video game soundtrack. I just feel like that's the kind of thing we would actually do. But that's not it. I'm not listening to that whole soundtrack. No, we're not. We're not going to listen to that. I, I think I just saw the actual soundtrack that's like five and a half hours long. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff. There's, like, music for, like, when it's raining. There's music for when you go I, yeah, to other I figure islands. there's, like, you know, actual music for things. Yeah. Like, inside different buildings and whatever. But, like, just, no. Yeah. No. You don't want to listen to five and a half hours of, like, soothing Animal Crossing music that's, like, supposed to be super non-confrontational? <laughs> what I think, and I'm actually surprised I don't see this, is a video on YouTube that is a full 24 hours of the Animal Crossing music that's, like, you know, the first hour of it is midnight to 1 a.m. Oh, there repeat, is. Whatever. That's up. Surpri- That's up there. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Okay. I didn't see it. That's up there. Um, I, I I actually, like, saw it while scrolling, and I was like, I definitely... I don't know if it was 24 straight hours, but it was definitely, like, one of the long videos of, like, every song looped for, you know, whatever. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to make him search through it for, excuse me, 3 a.m. Go to hour uh, 23. We could... Yeah, no. We could, we could listen... Um, to the to the Final Fantasy 7 remake uh, soundtrack and listen to my favorite song, the fucking spoiler song. The spoiler song? Is that what you're calling it? Sephiroth! Just a quick edit for fun. Uh, while getting audio for this next clip, um, I found this YouTube comment. Bells, Frogs, Big Cherries, Peter Pan, Magic Cheese. And I want you to keep that in mind as I play the Final Fantasy 7 remake remake soundtrack tells you who the final boss is (laughs) jesus i'm just saying if you listen to the soundtrack before you play the game you already know it's coming i mean you're not wrong. Again, this is a 20... What is it? 24 years old now? Whatever game? Yeah. There are no spoilers in this game anymore. 